all right what's going on youtube family i'm back again with another reaction video live for y'all just for y'all y'all know how much i love doing my reaction videos and i love to see the comments however i need more subscribers so those who are tuning in engage with engaging with the content go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button at the bottom hit that notification bell and let's get this ball rolling again you know what i'm saying so y'all can help me out in that area that'd be great i am going to get this video going because it's going to be a good one i have not seen it yet so y'all in tune for something good stay tuned What is going on? Stabbed it in the throat. What the? Come on. What? Stabbed it in the throat. Damn. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh my God. These are moments when officers stop parents from killing their children, starting with Jesus. the mother who was. Oh my no. Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. This is gonna be hard to watch this video, y'all. I'm letting y'all know right now. Before you go any further in this video, if you have children around, if you cannot stomach, um, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to make it through this video. I'm 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 so I'm sorry, y'all. Wow, wow. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Was caught drowning her kid. She's going. Breathe, breathe, breathe. On June 24th, 2023, police officers in Michigan hurried to a home after a 15-year-old reported that their mother was committing unspeakable acts against her and her two siblings. Jesus. Oh my God. Making it to the channel. Dispatch 2706. We got a child with a stab wound in the chest. Need medical priority one. Wake up, baby. No. The mother was drowning it in the bathtub when we found it. <laughs> Breathe for me, baby. Come on. Man. You alright? There you go. I'm much active bleeding from the injury. It's below the throat. Come on, She's honey. moaning. Keep him coming, priority one. Come on, honey. They're coming. Priority one. Keep waiting for us, all right? Keep waiting. There you go, eyes are open. Good girl, yeah. Keep breathing, honey. Bro, like. Do you imagine the psychological. trauma that this child is going to have growing up knowing that the person that brought him or her in this world tried killing him I'm little 
I'm trying to. I can't even wrap my mind around this. I can't wrap my mind around this. I. I'm sorry, y'all. Give me a second. I'm telling I did, I have not watched this video. I have not watched this video. What I'm feeling right now is all 100% real. Like this is crazy. This is this is crazy, yo. This is crazy. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through this whole video. Y'all gonna have to forgive me if I cannot. But if y'all wanna watch it, I'll I'll leave the link. Matter of fact, I'm not even gonna leave the link. Y'all can search it yourself. I'm not even putting this link up on my channel. It's worth. It's bad enough. I'm I'm playing this video, but y'all can tell I haven't even moved the screen. I don't even know if I even wanna watch anymore. But. They successfully rescued the two-year-old using child compressions. After wrestling her from her mother, who was drowning her in the bathtub, the three kids were later rushed to the hospital as they had stab wounds and had been forced to drink cleaning fluids by what? their mother. The 35-year-old mother... Bro, they need to... Mm. This YouTube. Somebody needs to deal with this lady, yo. This is crazy, yo. This is crazy. She stabbed all three of her kids and made them drink. What, draining fluid? They had stab wounds and had been forced to drink cleaning fluids. Ingested cleaning fluid, bro. That's like Drano or something. These kids gotta remember that. They gotta remember this, bro. And the one that's 15 is definitely gonna remember this, bro. They messed up. Psychologically, they are messed up, bro. They scarred. I, I pray to God that guy got his hand on them. This is crazy. It's by their mother. The 35-year-old mother, Jessica Edward Ricks, was charged with two counts of assault with intent to murder and four counts of child neglect. In the next case, I'll fry her, bro. Just 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 don't even don't even wait to prosecution. Don't wait to no court date. Don't even put her in a in a cell. Don't don't just off her. Seriously, she needs to go. She needs to go. She has to go. She gotta go. You twisted. Charged with two counts of assault with intent to murder and four counts of child neglect. In the next case, officers had to rescue a child from his deranged father who was holding a knife to the child's throat. Oh On June 20. 2022, Sacramento County Sheriff's deputies responded to a residence after a woman reported that her estranged ex was causing a disturbance and holding their child at knife point. Hey, let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Look at my go. Do you have it? Oh, look, it's down. It's down. It's down. Look. 
Look at window, right now. Okay, it's down. The officer had no choice but to act as a negotiator while the oh. wife and daughter were evacuated from the house, all the while carefully avoiding any actions that, that might provoke is, the assailant. That house is trashed. It is trashed. This is crazy, yo. Who was holding a knife to the child's neck? They repeatedly tried to persuade the. Well, I don't. What I don't understand about it all is what do these little babies do to these people, man? I don't. It, it, it's it's not even. What did these little innocent kids do to these parents, bro? They didn't ask to be born here. They didn't ask for you to make them. Out of yo selfish ass thinking you chose to lay down with whoever you chose to lay down with and y'all decided to keep that to keep that seed and make that baby without knowing these these bro this is why it's important to know who you laying with it's so important to know who you spread your legs to both male and female you get a crazy, men not stable mental person like this, and then they produce these kids, and then the kids are all twisted and messed up. This is this is crazy. Suspect to drop the knife, but the situation escalated when the suspect started a fire inside the house. What? Hey, your, your, your son can't be in there, dude. Your son can't be in there. You're, there's smoke in there. And there's smoke in there. Your kid doesn't need to be smelling that. Come on. Other officers arrived and started to evacuate the neighbors as well. And with the kid still in danger, the lead officer reached a breaking point and couldn't hold back any longer. Hey, we gotta go right now. Hey, we gotta, we gotta go. We gotta go. Right over here. Sorry, we gotta go. Hey, this this fire is getting big. No, we need to go in now. Let's go. They had to stop him as he was putting the child at risk of being stabbed. Right. The officer continued. Hey, Junior. Hey, slow down, bro. You you ready to play Call of Duty real quick and just rush in there? He got a whole toddler in his hands. He 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 don't care about his life. Just, mm, I understand how he. I, I understand that he's ready to try to go and save that child, but he's putting himself and that child at risk. Continued engaging the suspect while other officers on the scene attempted to breach the suspect's position from another location in the house. Too much fucking smoke. Fire is still burning. Have fire come in. They couldn't access that area because it was completely engulfed in flames. However, they quickly devised another plan to reach the suspect and the child through a neighbor's adjacent bathroom. Eventually, they gained access using a chainsaw and successfully rescued the child. Hey, whoop. Hey, put. Hey, you gotta put hands on him. Whoop him. You gotta whoop him. Bro, he, he 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 messed up the whole fire. The whole this dude literally messed up the entire apartment complex, bro. The suspect was also rescued, having passed out from. Fuck, mm -mm. Don't rescue him. He put himself in that predicament. Ain't nothing to rescue him about. He wanted to be put in that fire, bro. Ain't I? Ain't, I'm, please, if I'm rescuing you. I'm putting hands, feet, elbows. Steel chairs, tables, ladders, thumbtacks, the whole nine on them. Because that made no sense, bro. That made no sense. To do all of that. To, to... Now you want to be rescued? Man. No. And y'all not getting y'all deposit back. <laughs> For 
real. If I'm the landlord, y'all ain't getting. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm suing I'm suing y'all for the whole year's rent. I need all of that. I need all of that and then some, and then some. From the smoke, the boy suffered from smoke inhalation, carbon monoxide poisoning, and burn injuries, while his father, the suspect, also sustained burn injuries and smoke inhalation. The father should have choked on it who was also the suspect, was discharged and later charged for attempted murder, arson, and endangering a child. Uh-huh. Sit the Attempted murder, man. It had many different counts because remember, that's, that fire spread. That fire had spread to the upstairs. The next case was shocking as a mother attempted to jump off a roof while holding her two children. What? There you go. <laughs> Delray police officers responded to reports of an unstable woman threatening to jump from the roof of a townhouse while holding two children. How do we get this in the house? Gonna do? That's not even that high up, but for them kids, it's pretty high. So she gonna do fall forward? What the hell is going on with these people, man? People is bugged out. They literally becoming crash outs. It's okay. It's okay. Please, we're here to help, okay? We're here to help. Oh, wait. No, wait. No, it's okay. No. No, wait. No, wait. You're not a real life. She tweaking. I want to see her. I want to see her back. Okay, here. Let me show you. It's okay. Look. I want to see her back. Here you go. Really? Yeah, real. Let me see. Yeah, right here. Look. See? Since common sense did not she off her wig, bro. She she off her meds. She ain't get her prescriptions filled. She off her meds. She ain't stable. Not prevail. Even after they showed their badges, the officers took matters into their own hands. No, poor boy. The children were handed over to the DCF after investigations revealed that the woman's actions were caused by the ingestion of mom. Told you. I, well, I said medicine, but I knew she was on something. She was tweaking. Molly, she was remanded to a mental health institution while the investigations continued. In the next case, officers had to rescue three children from their AR-15 wielding father who had already oh. shot their mother. <laughs> Sheriff's deputies from Volusia County rushed to a residence after a wife reported that her husband was acting crazy and refusing to leave the house. However, upon arrival, the officers were unexpectedly confronted by the husband, who was now armed with an AR-15. Sheriff's office, come outside! Sheriff's office! He just locked the front door. Oh, after sweet. second shot fired. Subjects barricading the house has locked the front door, closing all blinds. Come here, ma'am. Come to me. She jumped out the window. Wait, I didn't see that. Come here, ma'am. Come okay, to me. Okay, 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 okay. She behind that bush. Oh! What? Stay down, ma'am. Stay down. Stay down. The wife appeared to have escaped through the window, though not without injury, as her husband had shot her back. Still in danger, other Dang. officers arriving on the scene swiftly moved in to rescue her. He's coming out this bedroom window, so watch your six. Take her out. 
I got you, I got you. I know, baby. I know. The wife was dragged to safety, but all was not well yet, as three children remained in the home. Oh However, my god. It would Are you serious, bro? Are you serious? Are you serious? Come on now. I thought the three kids got out the house. It didn't take long for the officers, now equipped to match the suspect's firepower, to swoop in and rescue them. Who's in the house? Which one do you have? Which one do you have? Which one do you have? Come here, come here, come here. Come here, sweetheart. Right, that's one, two. Come here, buddy, come here. Come here. That's two. Come here. Kids. Come here. Is that three kids? That's three kids right there. Stand up with your hands up. Do it now. I'll get rid of him. Keep your hands up. Stay here, stay here, stay here. Oh, walk walk. Sweet. Keep walking. Go down to your knees. Keep your hands wherever you see them. The wife survived the gunshot and the children were safe. Bro, I don't understand that. Out of all of that, they they took him down with ease, bro. But if he was black, man, they would have shot that house up, bro. If he was Hispanic, my Hispanic brothers and stuff. They would have shot us up, man. I'm serious. You know, I'm, I'm grateful that the kids and nobody else got hurt. But he was shooting back at the police, man. They were supposed to go the whole nine all in. The husband, 28-year-old Emmanuel Rosado, was initially... Never, man. <laughs> Bro, he... <laughs> Latin brothers and sisters, they got to take an L for this one. He's tripping. Actually charged with aggravated battery and two counts of attempted first degree murder resulting in a sentence of 30 years in prison. The, the next father was hey, man, 30 piece. completely irresponsible, leaving his two year old in whoa, 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 whoa. sentence of 30 years in prison. The next father hey, don't, was com don't completely he, irresponsible. Don't he look like a uh, dude that played in national security with Martin Lawrence? He looked just like dude, <laughs> straight up. <laughs> Let me see what's going on with this one. Responsible, leaving his two-year-old in the car for hours while he went to play video games. I, I, she's, she's Bro, you a square. Why well, you gonna leave your kid in the car to go play a video game? Come on, man. Like, I need to be with her next Oh my God, my no. Arizona police officers and firefighters rushed to a residence after a couple called for help as the wife had discovered that her husband, 37-year-old Chris Schultes, had left their two-year-old daughter abandoned in a car parked outside in the hot July sun. What's going on? Why, why are you with me? Because we were first responders and we were on scene when you were us. Are you guys here for me? The officer stayed with Chris while the other officers handled the situation. However, things took a turn for the worse when the wife came to deliver shocking news from the medics. I, I, she's, she's dead. Like, I need to be with her. Oh my god, my no! You so fake, bro. No. You fake. You intentionally left your child outside in a, in a hot car in the summertime. Oh my god, oh my god. The biggest actors in the world. With the biggest fear already confirmed and a death being involved, the officers started to question the kid's father. And how long was she sleeping in the car out there? I want to say it was no more than 30, 45 minutes. And I don't think their air was off that entire time. I think there was a time in between. I had checked on her last. It was still running. She was still sleeping. And then when I went back out, 
Later investigations revealed that Chris had been lying as the house's CCTV footage showed him leaving the child in the car for over three hours. Without wow. shaking her even once, Chris didn't fully grasp the severity of the situation he was in, but began to realize it when he attempted to go join his wife at the hospital. Just to let you know, I don't, I don't want to feel like we're intruding, but we're going to have to stand by with you for a while. All right. Um, Is there a reason why? So any, any death, we have to treat like a crime scene. <laughs> Um, I, I know this is extremely difficult for you. Um, this is a normal process that, that we have to follow through with. I don't want you to be blindsided by anything, but that's that's what's going to be going on for right now, okay? So I'm being treated like a murderer? No. I just uh. like my what's going to be going on for right now, okay? So I'm being treated like a murderer? You is the damn murderer. What are you talking about, you idiot? Are you serious? Come on, man. You know what you did. Why is you you playing like you you innocent in this, bro? You know what you did. You intentionally left your baby girl outside in a hot ass car in the middle of July, and the the, the heat was like probably over 100 degrees with windows rolled up. You didn't go outside to check on her for three hours, and you went inside to play a video game. Nigga, you bogus. And I said it. So what? So what? I'm gonna call it for what it is. You bogus. You bogus, Chris. You like a Chris. No. I not, just lost my video. Not at all. I know <laughs> that. And I know this isn't easy for you. That's, that's why I'm trying to be straightforward and honest with you, okay? I don't want to keep any secrets. I don't want to hide anything for you. Someone's gonna talk. You should just tell him he's going to jail. Just tell him he's going to jail right now. Talk to you about what happened, though. Chris was subsequently arrested after the arriving detective authorized his arrest. His case appeared bleak as his other two children claimed he had left them in the car over 59 times. See? He got a... He, he, he has a, 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 a habit of doing this. He's got a habit of doing it. They also stated that in this incident that resulted in death, he had forgotten his daughter while playing video games. He was charged with first... He didn't forget. He just didn't want to deal with it no more. Let's not, let's not downplay his actions for something less than what it was. It was, it, he didn't want to, he didn't want the... I don't want to say a burden. He didn't want... Do I want to say burden? He didn't want the task of raising more than what he really wanted to raise. I'm gonna put it that way. That's that's a good way to put it. I, I, it sounds like it's a good way to put it. It's the nicest way to put it. But he don't want them kids either way. He don't want the wife. I'll be honest with you. First degree murder and child abuse, and the case is still ongoing. The next case was still ongoing. Man, that just go ahead and throw the book at him. Put him on death row. Don't even put him on death row. Just, just, you already know how I feel about it. Just go ahead and just, hey, send him on to the good old chopping block. Goodbye. Utterly heartbreaking as a cruel father used his child as a human shield to evade arrest. Stop, dude. On September 27th, 2022, Flagler County Sheriff's deputies pursued and caught up with 27-year-old Brandon Leoner after he kidnapped his child from his girlfriend's home. Okay, I remember this case. I remember this case. Um, I remember seeing this case a while back. Yeah, this dude was crazy, too. Show me your fucking hands, dude! Put the baby down! Put the kid down! Put the kid down! Put the kid down. You gotta imagine everybody that's in the drive through for McDonald's and the people that's on the inside is like, what is going on? Like, the car that's... Okay, so the car... Not the car that's in front of him, but the car that's behind him, that's looking at him, is... They can't even get out. They boxed in. I'm, presume, I'm I'm gonna guess they boxed in. They can't even go forward, go back. They gotta sit there, and whatever transpires, transpires. Like it's gonna happen. It, whatever gonna go down is gonna go down right in front of that car. 
like the person that's at the very front that's probably like okay you got window where they collect then you got the next one then they probably got another window so that last window where it's like express whatever they can get their stuff and just pull on out and then the car that's behind them can pull on out but ain't nobody finna be doing nothing to mcdonald's i'm gonna be real with you like make that like we probably they probably just gonna they gonna sit and play it out they gonna see what's gonna happen so we finna see what's gonna happen put the kid down Crawled all the way on the truck. <laughs> Stop, dude. Damn. Is he trying to run? Bro, look at all them cops. Like, are you serious? Stop. Bro, I'm sorry, man. They should have pounced on him. The child, whom he was using as a human shield, was pulled from his grasp. With the child now safe, the officers were able to fully focus on subduing the suspect. Are you sick, bro? Come on, man. Ain't no way. They is too. They too sweet. They too sweet. Look, they got the baby. They got the baby. He crawled underneath the car. There's one, two, three. Four, well, I'm not gonna count the cop with the with the body cam on because he got the baby. So it's one, two, three. It's two, two black shirts, and then a sheriff with the dog. Okay. Now watch this. Watch this. Look, he right there. There's one sheriff that's right there. They let him get up. Look, look. What the hell is that? He's still trying to run, grab for a pistol. The child, yep, whom he on, was using bro. as a human shield, was pulled from his grasp. With the child now safe, the officers They're were able to, to rush him. fully focus on subduing the suspect. Now they running. Now they running. I gotta get my cardio in today. Go. Go. Stop resisting! Stop resisting! You're gonna get tased! You're gonna get tased! You already got tased. Tango, tango, tango! Tango on your back! Tango on your back! He continued to struggle, and it took a canine bite for him to finally surrender. He was arrested and charged with kidnapping, using a minor as a shield, resisting arrest with violence, child neglect, fleeing and eluding, and reckless driving. The case is still ongoing. In the next case, an officer... All these cases still ongoing, but y'all had the Mexican dude case of the guy 30 years. I'm just saying, <laughs> they petty. Had to physically punch a mother before she would let go of her child during an arrest. What? <laughs> On August 14th, 2024, oh. Auburn police were called to the scene by CPS after a mother of two was found sleeping on the floor of a local school with her children and was threatening the CPS officers. What the? Come on. Officers managed to calm the situation, but it escalated again when the CPS officer delivered some news to the mother. You can't take the kids with you. Here's the paperwork. You off. You're under arrest. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let go of the baby. Let go of the baby. The child she had wedged between her legs was removed, and 39-year-old Chelsea Love was arrested and charged with harassment, obstructing governmental administration, endangering the welfare of a child, and resisting arrest. In the next case, officers mm. had to deal with a... Well then, y'all seen that one. I don't... Hey, she is on meth. 
she's on that stuff, bro. I don't... You can look at her face and you can tell her. You can tell her that she's on that, man. She's she's on drugs. And she's an alcoholic. I said it, and so what? The severely intoxicated mother who had caused her child an extremely Whoa. painful death. On October 16th, 2023, officers from the Ohio State Highway Patrol swiftly responded to a call reporting a woman who had crashed her car into a pole while traveling with two young children in the vehicle. She's out of it. She don't know if she's in this world or not. Okay. From the caller's statement, wow. a child in the car had been ejected during the crash and had oh, died. The officer God. pulled the mother to one side to question, and they soon get to see for themselves how irresponsible she was. So where were you coming from today then, right now, before the crash? Where did you come from? When you were driving on the road, where did you leave from? The house. You left your house? Yeah. Where were you going? The Christie's and I'm going to the sewer. Christie's and then the sewer? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um... What happened with the crash? Do you remember it at all? I turned my head and looked at the girls to talk to them. They were fighting. I just turned my head. Oh my okay. god. That meth mouth. I turned my head. I can't do it. To my... <laughs> I'm just saying, man. She's on that stuff, bro. She claimed to have been distracted, but the child's ejection from the car was a clear indication that she wasn't wearing a seatbelt, leading the officers to their next questions, especially since she appeared to be intoxicated. How do, how do you ingest your pills and your meth when you take Told you. I told you. Told you. I done seen smokers before. I done seen smokers before, man. You, they all do this little thing with their lip. They can't stop moving their mouth. They can't stop doing that. That's how you know she's 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 on that. Yeah, she's on that she's on that binge, and she 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 probably just recently did some. That's why she came up out of that car crash unscathed, and she was drinking. You know that meth. And that, and that alcohol, that cheap booze, she probably drink Ice House. But why not? She drink Ice House. She an Ice House drinker. Yeah. Yeah. She an Ice House drinker. Natural ice. Natural stone or something. Cheap stuff. Keystone. <laughs> Yeah. Your indication that she wasn't wearing a seatbelt, leading the officers to their next questions, especially since she appeared to be intoxicated. How do, how do you ingest the, your pills and your meth when you take them? Do you snort them? Yeah. Okay. How do you how do you explain having this is a smoke? Your pills and your meth when you take them? Do you snort them? Smoke. Smoke. She smoke. She smoke that. Yeah. Okay. How do you how do you explain having zero nasal hair in your nose no there. That was from years ago, probably. Years ago? Yeah. Did you used to sort Xanax or something? Yeah, Xanax. Exactly. Okay. How long ago has it been since you've done that? About five days when they did that. Man, she, she capping. She capping. She capping, yo. Five days ago, my ass is about like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> 50 minutes ago, maybe. That last Five days yeah. since you did that last? Mm -hmm, okay. All right. Uh, because I slipped up three passed away. Okay. Have you, you don't care. Like, you care who died from it. You don't care about that. You don't care. If you did, you stop yourself. You try to go and get seek out treatment, go and get some help, and get yourself better. But you don't care. You're a smoker. You are a smoker. You don't care about anything like that. Smoke any marijuana or anything like that today? I don't smoke marijuana. Yeah, that's that. We well, ain't gonna do nothing for her. She she in a whole nother she in a whole nother class. She's she a, a senior at this. She ain't no freshman. That's freshman talk. That's that's junior high talk. Let's get some marijuana. No man, I need some meth. That's what she just she needs. That. She need plaster. You know, she don't want no weed. 
All she gonna do is get mad. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you haven't used meth since yesterday, then? Right. <laughs> right. I took my sleeping pill last night. You took your sleeping pill. Your sleeping pill is meth. Last night. Yes, I did okay. every night. I mean, every. Alright, well, I'm, I'm going to run you through a few field sobriety tests here. Okay. Yeah, the officer to. conducted field sobriety tests, which revealed the mother was intoxicated. The woman, identified as 43-year-old Chasity Bliss, was arrested and charged with aggravated vehicular manslaughter and child endangerment. If you enjoy videos like this, please like. Alright, y'all, man. That was a cool video. I'm going to have to do some editing on it, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, I did not... I still did not like that uh whew, that that first that first clip man that mother was drowning the baby stabbing the kids man that was hard man that was hard bro I, yeah I'm gonna end this right here man y'all stay up peace out.